I'm Forrest Saunders at the Capitol. Lawmakers are back in Tallahassee this week for an organizational session, but Democrats are coming back to a stronger GOP supermajority in both chambers. One of the last times we saw Democratic leaders in Tallahassee was as they were kicking off a bus tour across Florida to prevent a GOP supermajority. Then you have to have the interplay. You have to have the vetting. You have to have uh, the back and forth. The 10 day effort was all for naught. However, Republicans won each of the tour's five targeted races, securing their two thirds control in both the upper and lower chambers. By your vote, you have elected Senator Lauren Book. It's a reality the minority leadership will now have to endure for the next two years as the GOP attains easier paths to approve bills, change chamber rules, or use their power to override vetoes from the governor. At the end of the day, we are all we have. We are all for one, one for all. We have to get better. We have to be stronger. We have to be tougher. Senate Minority Leader Lauren Book says she'll be working to find common ground with Republicans, saying there will be plenty of opportunity. We have all been talking about property insurance, affordability, affordable housing, workforce housing. Those are things that we have been working on and agree with the other side of the island. But there's plenty of disagreement, too. This year, Republicans pushed through new laws regulating sex and race education, controversial immigration reform, and new election restrictions. And some GOP members say to prepare for more of the same. They feel emboldened to go further following success on election night. This is a mandate that they like what we're doing here in the state of Florida. There is a reason why people are moving to this state in droves. Further abortion restrictions are a chief concern for the minority party. Democrats in the House and Senate have vowed to fight any proposal should it arise. They might even try to overreach there. House Minority Leader Fentress Driscoll hoping national political headwinds on abortion will be the party's saving grace. There were five states that had abortion uh, on the ballot around this country, and even Kentucky, which is far redder than Florida, voted to protect it. The people of Kentucky did. So I think that DeSantis has painted himself into a corner. Whether that's true will become apparent when lawmakers gavel in for the regular session in March. Now we're going to get a preview of how these new groups of lawmakers will cooperate in a upcoming special session on property insurance. We don't have the specifics yet, but it's expected to happen on the week of December 12th. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.